Hey everybody, it's Nikki Robinson. I am doing a takeover workout with Shape. Um, it's gonna be a quick 30 minute circuit workout. We're gonna start out with some, a warm up and then we're going to do two circuits. Um, each circuit we're gonna repeat one time and then we're gonna do a core burnout. And then um, um, all you need is a mat and some dumbbells. If you don't have any dumbbells, it's, it's okay. Um, we can still do the moves. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Uh, and we're just starting off with jumping jacks, all right? Three. There we go. 30 seconds of jumping jacks. Just to get the blood warm, get it going. Now, if you can't actually do the jumps, you can always just do side taps. That's just fine, just as effective, all right? Just getting started. There we go. All right, quick 15 second break. The next move is going to be multifunctional. It's just gonna be a squat, a burpee squat. So it's gonna be burpee down, up, and squat. 30 seconds of that. Let's go. There we go. Getting warm. Now, if you can't do the burpee all the way, you can always just do a step out, step back in, slow and controlled squat. Step out, step back in. Good work, quick break. We're gonna quick break for just one minute and then we're just gonna do that one more time. And then we're gonna go into our circuit. It's just a quick two minute warm up just to get everything flowing, get the blood moving. Whew. If you need to take a quick water break, go ahead and do that. Stretch out your muscles. Again, this is gonna be a full body workout. So you wanna make sure that you're completely stretched out, that you're warm, because we're gonna be utilizing our lats, our traps, shoulders, legs, all of that, okay? So we're gonna do that warm up one more time and then we're gonna go right into the circuit. So again, keep moving, keep the blood flowing. Deep breaths in, out, and we're gonna start. Woo. Jumping jacks, let's go. There we go, keep moving. Here we go. Almost there, guys. 10 seconds. Here we go. Good work. Quick break. Remember, the next move is gonna go, is gonna be that burpee squat. So again, down into a burpee, back up into a squat. Starting. Let's go. I said 15, but it's actually 20. Four cycles. Let's see. Alrighty. Go ahead. 
Catch your breath. We're going to be starting in a few more seconds. Whew. The first two moves, we don't, we're not going to need the uh, dumbbells, but the last two we will, so make sure that they're close. Mine are right here behind me. <sighs> All righty. Let's go ahead and get started for this next one. Whew. Again, four moves, 45 seconds on, 20 seconds rest. I hope you're ready. First one's going to be a frog jump. Jump forward, jump back. Let's go. Frog jumps. Make sure you're keeping your feet at a sumo or your knees right outside your, your shoulders. You're just jumping forward and back. Keep that chest up. As you're coming up, lightly tap the ground. Getting a good burn on those legs. If you can't jump, you can just step forward and step back. Step forward and step back. Here we go, come on. 10 more seconds, guys. Keep it moving. Woo! Woo! Oh my gosh, 20 seconds rest. I don't know what you guys, that one burned. <laughs> the next one is gonna be ski downs. So for ski downs, we're gonna jump side to side, just like you're on the, on the slopes, you're skiing. Side to side, forward and back. Let's go, ski downs. Heart rate should be elevated by now. This is a great cardio workout. If you can't jump, you can just step side to side. Still doing the ski motion. As long as your butt is down, knees are slightly bent and you're just moving. There we go, guys, keep it going. Five more seconds, let's go. Good work, guys. For the next one, we're gonna go ahead and grab those dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, that's fine. You can still do the movements. And this is gonna be a dumbbell squat press. So, dumbbells by your ears. You're gonna squat, bring dumbbells overhead. 45 seconds. Let's go. Come on. Woo! Oh. Let's go, let's go. Watch your breathing. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Mouth. <laughs> Good work, guys. Whew. Punch it right overhead when you're bringing those dumbbells up. Huh. Come on. Whew. Five more seconds. Push through, push through. Three. Come on. Whew. Keep those dumbbells in your hand. Next, we're going into a renegade row. We'll be in a push-up position, and you're just going to bring dumbbells up. Keeps alternating. Three. Come on, guys. Let's go. We're gonna gain rows. If you don't have dumbbells for this one, you can just go ahead and just bring arm raise up, arm raise down. It's still working those shoulders. It's just as effective. Come on, guys. Bring those dumbbells up. Woo! 10 seconds, come on. Come on. Woo! That's the bottom of circuit one. Oh, catch your breath. Get some water. We have a quick 60 second break before we do that circuit. Arm repeat. Woo. Make sure you're moving. Control your breathing. In through your nose. 
out through your mouth. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some water. <sighs> mm. Woo! <sighs> Keep moving, shake those arms. Woo! <sighs> My shoulders are gonna feel this. <laughs> Woo! Watch, come tomorrow. So, we're about to start back up at the top of the circuit. Again, it's gonna be frog jumps. Move those dumbbells out the way. We're gonna be starting. Three, two, one. Let's go. Frog jumps again. Front and back. Good work, guys. Keep it moving. Again, make sure you keep that chest up the whole time as you're going forward. Try not to do a hunchback. Keep it straight. This is a great, quick home workout. Woo! Woo! Good work. Come on, help us there. Three seconds. Push through, push through. Ah. Oh. Quick 20 second break. Next, again, we're going into the ski downs. Catch your breath before we go into there. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Make sure you're concentrating on your breathing. Come on, let's go. Side to side. Come on, keep it going. If you need to catch your breath, you can still just go side to side until you catch your breath and you can jump right back into it. Whew. Whew. Come on guys, let's keep going. As long as you're moving, I'm happy. Whew. Keep it going, come on. Whew. Come on. Whew. Whew. My goodness. You're gonna go ahead, grab that dumbbell, guys. Remember, it's gonna be a squat press. Down, press the dumbbells right over your head. Go ahead and grab them. We're starting. Come on. This is high intensity, full body training. Good work, guys. We push through. Come on. How bad do you want it? So we gotta ask yourself. This is where you push through. This is where it's mental. I know your body's saying stop, but you're like nobody. Let's go. We're pushing. We're pushing. Five more seconds. Come on. Woo. One more, renegade rows. Let's go ahead and get that set up. This is the last exercise in the circuit, and then we'll take a break. Come on, let's go. Renegade rows. How many can you do without stopping? Challenge yourself. Can you go to full 45 seconds? Come on. Huh. Whew. Let's go, let's go. Huh. 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 Come on, guys. Huh. Huh. 15 seconds. Huh. Let's work. Huh. Huh. 10 seconds, let's go. Huh. Woo. Huh. Come on. Push through, push through. Three. Oh my gosh. 60 second rest. Get that water. Take a breather. Woo. Woo. That was, <laughs> that's intense. Quick break before we go right into circuit two. The second circuit, 
a little more active rest in the very beginning, incorporating the dumbbells a bit more. Whew. Oh, come on. This is how we get stronger. This is how we push through those mental barriers. This is what it takes. I'm gonna go ahead and get some water. We got 15 more seconds. Mm. At the top of circuit two, we're gonna do regular bicep curls. This will give you a little bit more active rest. And we get to focus on a specific body part. All right, bicep curls. Just regular bicep curls. You don't need to go fast, slow and controlled. This is really good active rest. Come on. Woo! Good work, come on. Come on. 20 more seconds. Woo! If you gotta shake it out, go ahead and shake it out. But we gotta push through, come on. Keep it going. Almost there. Five seconds. Three. Two, one, oh, good work guys. All right, next one, we're gonna do front and side lateral raises. Oh my goodness. Alrighty, just starting my timer. Front and side lateral raises. That's gonna be side, front, side, front, woo! If you need to drop your dumbbells, just to give your shoulders a little bit of a break, do that. And you can just go front back, sorry, front side. When you're ready, just pick it back up and keep it going. Oh my gosh, we gotta push through, come on guys.
keep moving. Got to keep the blood circulating. This is great, again, for if you're trying to just do a quick full body workout for 30 minutes, you don't have time, you're like, I just got to get, get something in, get some good cardio, get some good strength training. This is perfect to put together just a couple of circuits, utilizing full body movements, and just going. Put yourself on a Tabata timer to keep you accountable. Whew. It helps. Okay, guys. We're going to stop back up at the top with the bicep curls. Go ahead, grab those dumbbells. Break time's over. Let's go. Again, slow and control. Make sure where you have your dumbbells down, it's coming down to your thighs, up to your chest. Keep those biceps tight. Try not to swing. When you're doing them, that's improper form. You should only be activating, activating your biceps uh, with this movement. Uh, again, if it gets too heavy and you start compromising form, just drop those and just do the movements. Five more seconds. Good work, guys. Uh, shake those arms out. We're going right to those side in front raises, all right? Woo! Get water if you need to. If you need to take more rest, go ahead and take a little extra rest. Jump back in when you feel energized. Let's go ahead and go. Side lateral raises. Let's go. Uh. Uh. Woo! Uh. This is what I get for grabbing 15 pound dumbbells. Woo! But I asked for it. Uh. This is where you push through though. Whew. Come on. Whew. If I'm compromising form, I'm gonna go ahead and drop them for just a bit to give my shoulders just a bit of a break. It's okay to do that. Whew. Just make sure when you're not using the weights, you're just squeezing, squeezing your shoulders at the top. Five seconds. Ah. Oh my gosh, even without the weight. <laughs> that was brutal. Oh my gosh, okay. Remember, next one, back lunge with the press. All right, go ahead, pick up those dumbbells if you dropped them. <sighs> Keep them in your hands, we're starting. <sighs> Let's go, back lunge, press. <sighs> back lunge, press. Woo! Back lunge, press, come on. Back lunge, press, my shoulders are on fire. <laughs> Come on, this is where you push through. You want those gains, this is where you get it. When it hurts. Come on. Come on, guys. If you have to scream, scream. Just push through and don't give up. Come on. Five seconds, let's go, push through, push through. Okay, that was brutal. But we still got one more exercise in that circuit. You guys are doing good. Squat kicks are next. All right, squat down with a kick. We're starting. Come on. Okay, come on. Kick. Oh my gosh, whoo, come on, push through, how many can you do without stopping, can you go the full 45 seconds, come on, keep going, that's my goal, not to stop, 15 seconds, come on,
Go ahead, get water if you need it. Oh my gosh. I know you're probably like, this doesn't seem like that much, but it's amazing when you do slow and controlled movements, what that really looks like and how much you can spike that heart rate up and get a great cardio workout. All right, so I hope you guys are ready. We're gonna be doing a core burnout. I'm gonna go ahead and set my Tabata. Oh my gosh. All right. Okay. Go ahead and get your mat set up. And we're gonna go ahead and get started with this one. I am dripping with sweat. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I am like completely dripping, but that's good. That's how we're supposed to do it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my mat so you can actually see my form side profile. So we're gonna start with a starfish. It's gonna be out, opposite arm, opposite leg. Six movements, this is it. 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest. Six core movements, and that is it. Whoo! Come on, guys. Come on. Really gotta strengthen that core. Try to get your fingertips to touch your toes. Come on up. You don't have to go super fast. Go. Slow and controlled, that's fine, as long as you're keeping that core tight and engaged. Uh, uh, All right, next one is gonna be flutter kicks. So go ahead, you can put your hands under your glutes, feet out, and you're just gonna do a slight flutter. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go. 45 seconds of work. Light flutter. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, my core is burning. Whew. Keep that core tight and just small, low kicks. Oh my gosh. You guys keep going. Even if I'm breaking, I need y'all to go. Whew. This is how we train. Train insane. That's how I see it. Come on, 10 more seconds. Oh, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Mm. Come on, almost there. Uh. Oh my gosh, my core hurts so bad. That's all right. Next one is gonna be just a regular Russian twist. You can grab the dumbbell if you want a little bit more resistance. Again, Russian twist, chest straight. All you're doing is keeping that core twisted. I went ahead and grabbed my dumbbell. Just give me a little extra resistance. Make sure when you're leaning back, you're not going too far back and you're not too far straight. Just about a good, about the good 30 degree angle right here. It's just boom. And you do not need the dumbbell at all. You can just do a tap, tap. Woo! Oh my gosh. Come on guys. Uh, even though I'm taking rests and breaks, you guys keep going. Oh my gosh, this hurts. Five seconds, come on. Okay, quick break. Next one is gonna be knee to elbow. So bring your knees up, kind of in a sitting, sitting position in your knees. We're just gonna tap your elbows. Knees, tap your elbows. Let's go. You don't have to go fast for this move. Just when you come up, keep that core tight, as tight as you can. Oh my gosh, let's go. We're almost there, guys. We're like right there at the finish line. I need you to push through. I know it hurts, but it's supposed to hurt. Oh my gosh. Whew. Let's go, come on, 20 seconds. Come on, no excuses, no excuses. How bad do we want it? 10 seconds. Oh, come on, push through, push through, push through. Five seconds, come on. Oh my gosh. Okay, come on guys, this is literally your last 
exercise and that is just a burnout on the elbow plank so get into a plank position on your elbows bring it up and hold it this is literally your last 45 seconds of work keep your core tight try not to drop let's see how hard how long we can hold it up I am dripping in sweat oh my gosh come on guys 20 seconds come on push 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 hold it up hold it up hold it up my arms are shaking come on 10 seconds you can do it come on come on Woo! I think I said six exercises, five, five movements. Oh. Okay, guys, that is it. Oh my gosh, my abs are super tight right now. <laughs> I don't know about you, but that was insane. That was intense, but that's how we push. I want it to be intense. I want it to be insane and crazy. I want you to push yourself past your comfort zone, and I think mission was accomplished all right guys i'm so happy to have worked out with shape uh you can find me my programs on the fit body app go to fitbodyapp.com backslash nikki n-i-c-c-i or uh follow me on my page nikki underscore robinson again i'm so happy that you have joined me and to have completed this workout with you and i will see you on the next one